Ladies and gentlemen, before we hop in the video, I wanted to give you the heads up, man. It's our second year anniversary, the birthday of Third Street Barbell, 3SB.co, and good company. And so we're giving you all 30 to 50% off everything on the website. So it's only live for the next uh, 48 hours, right? Tuesday, only 48 hours, so I would go now. Things are gonna sell out, I promise. So if you wanna cop something on discount, I appreciate all the support, 3SB.co. Enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, sell my Third Street Barbell, brand new video. Is this thing on? Hello, kids. Welcome. And we're going to talk to Avi, Avi, Avilia, Avilia today about gym intimidation. That's a good topic, huh? Yeah. I get gym intimidation, and I'll share a very embarrassing uh, antisocial. Everyone says, like, Mike, you can't be an introvert, and you can't be antisocial. I've seen you on Instagram, and you talk to people. That's not how it works. But we'll dive in. She's got a bench, so we're going to interview her before her bench because she's competing at USAPL Nationals. I don't know when this video is going to come out. Probably in time. If you're there, say what's up. We're going to be there kicking it. Um, and we'll, just, we'll get some cues in between her bench set. get asked why my name is Silent Mike. I was telling you off camera, it's because like, I had gym intimidation in a way is where powerlifting is like cool now, and a lot of people do it, guys, girls, big, small, left, right, but back in the day it was just big motherfuckers. So I came in and talked to nobody. For like six months I didn't say a word, and that's where the nickname came from. So I was already at the gym, this gym, back in the day, like probably like six months. And one time, I have a little social anxiety too, but parts of the intimidation, I think I was the first one here one day and like all the gates were closed and shit and I was just like in my head like almost begging for a reason not to go and so I already drove half an hour to get here I come and the gates are all closed yeah. and in my head I'm like okay I'll just go home yeah because yeah, we didn't have keys or nothing and yeah, yeah and it was kind of like yeah kind of like a darn, darn. <laughs> gonna go back to my commercial gym where I'm the strongest baddest motherfucker that's ever walked through and I ended up staying. I did like a circle around the block and I'm like, all right, dude. Yeah, I was like, I wanna get better. I wanna become a better coach. I kinda of have to be here to do this thing. Yeah. Don't, stop, being a, stop being a little scaredy cat. Right. Um, but so many people, especially ladies, for some reason, I mean, not for some reason, for a very valid reason, yeah. over the years, they are funneled to the cardio section, right? Like why are, why are light dumbbells pink? Right. I don't wanna get on my uh, social justice hi hat right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. but why are light dumbbells pink? They're not blue. I mean, and that's a whole nother discussion why things are pink and blue. We don't want to go that deep into right. sociology, but that's already telling you, like, yeah, you're not you're not made for this one. Yeah. Like this barbell isn't you for you. Barbell. Go grab some dumbbells. Yeah, or why? Yeah, every lady's in the cardio section. They're they're scared. Even a commercial gym, yeah. not scared, but intimidated or or fear the judgment or fear. First off, do you have any ideas of maybe why that is, or things that you maybe felt like why? Why is the free weight so uncomfortable? I mean, I know some guys are just douchebags, yeah. and we're douchebags inside and outside of the gym. Uh, but then, what helped you maybe go to the free weight section, and then from the free weight section start to power lift, yeah. and then not only start to power lift, but be in like a legitimate powerlifting strength and conditioning gym? Uh, well, for me, I, when I started going to the gym, I went to 24 Hour, and I worked out with a friend of mine, and he's a guy. So I just did whatever he did. Yeah. Um, so I actually, he introduced me to the barbell movement and I just did anything he did. So it was, it was more comfortable, I guess, because uh, I wasn't in there alone. Did you, did you play sports or anything? I played volleyball. Yeah. So this was after like my senior year of high school, volleyball season ended. I was like, I need to do something. Yeah. And I started going to the gym with him. And from there, like, I liked seeing how much stronger I could get. Yeah. So I wasn't too intimidated by the other people there. I don't know, I didn't think about it. But I think right now what helps um, me 
like, or if I think back to it, why I would be intimidated around other, like if there was a bench available, it's like, oh no, you go ahead and take it. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll wait, like I don't need it as much as you do, type of thing. But now it's different, obviously. Um, the confidence- Because you're the strongest one in the gym, is that what you're trying to tell them? <laughs> that you're the strongest person at Third no, Street? Which, which is true, but yeah. <laughs> I think it's the confidence, but, and, and the knowledge. So uh, maybe, I. What I see is like with my clients, because I'm a personal trainer, yeah. my clients are afraid to do it on their own because they don't, they're not sure about their form. Yeah. They're not very knowledgeable yet on like what they're doing. So that's why I go through exercises with them and have them do it on their own. Um, make sure they come in by themselves to do those same exercises that we've yeah. done together. Cause like, she's not here, but I know how to do this. We did it together. So like uh, with that, you kind of, build this mindset of like, I know what I'm doing, I know I need to grab these weights, and I know exactly how to do a lateral raise. 100%. Like, I could be in this area, you know, so. I think that's really smart. Because I, I, I think intimidation, like here, there is like this muchacho, muchissimo vibe, yeah. um, which when, if you go to a real powerlifting meet, it's not really like that. Like, right. a lot of no. people more like zenny. Everyone is so, like, nice. Yeah, yeah, because everyone's a little intimidated. There's always gonna be someone stronger. There's literally always someone stronger than you. And once you start to compete, you realize that it almost like, humbles you in a positive manner rather than intimidating manner. Um, but I think you're right, having a plan, and I've heard a lot of people tell me that too, ladies, like, well, I just don't know what to do. Hey, guys, I don't know what to do. Like, where do I go, what do I, and, but that's the case with anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not a software engineer. So if you're like, hey, Mike, you gotta go to Intel and sit in this software meeting, I'm gonna be intimidated as fuck, because I, like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to explain things. I don't know what's going on. So like education's good. That's why I've always been a fan and obviously it's hard. Some people don't have the money, but a personal trainer's great. Yeah. But there's YouTube. Going in with the program, even if you yeah. wrote your own, yeah. you make a list so that you, when you're walking to the weights area, you know what you're gonna do with the dumbbells. 100%. Instead of like kind of wandering like, uh, how about this machine? How do you use it? Yeah. It's like, well, I know what's next. Like, okay, squats first. And then after that, we'll get in split squats that's over there, I need to yeah. grab these weights. So like, it's less guesswork. 100%. And you're more confident just walking to each section, grabbing each weight, like you know, cause you wrote it down already, like yeah. before you even went to. So you could do, you could write it yourself, you know, you yeah. don't have to yeah, like. You could be push-ups and crunches, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But knowledge and like, comp builds the confidence, yeah. I think. I think so too. Yeah, cause if you, if you get into a routine, and it's kind of like anything, like the more you do it, the more confident you're gonna be. Yeah. Cause you understand what you're doing, you're more comfortable in it. And despite what everyone tells you, you don't have to do different exercises every single time, right? right? You, and there's no muscle confusion, there's not all this weird stuff. So like just doing a squat three times a week is awesome. Yeah. You can do that for the rest of your life and get stronger and get fitter and get more confident. What are your best lifts? Because we got to give you some street cred for the kids. What are the, what are the PRs? I just hit one actually. I squatted 315 for the first time. Well, actually, and then I squatted 320 after that. 320 squat. So, some room left in the tank. What's your best bench? Uh, 192. Best deadlift? Uh, 402. What you hit last week? I hit it in January, then I hit it again on Saturday. Now you want to talk about goals for the meet or not? Is that secret? No, goals for the meet, I actually already hit it. <laughs> like, during training, yeah. So what, those are gonna be, you think those will be like second attempts then? Um, I think, I, okay, I already surpassed my bench PR, yeah. or meet PR, or goal, and then I surpassed my squat, so, Deadlifts, I want to hit 420 or 419. 420. Yeah. I'm gonna bench 69 and squat 420. <laughs> oh, that's the one I haven't hit yet, actually. But two weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Dab on them. Yeah, I'm nervous. No, you're gonna smash. And this squad's gonna be there. Hopefully, we get to film. I don't know if we're allowed to. Do you know those rules? I have no idea. Just do it until they tell you not to. Ask for forgiveness, not. What's that saying? Don't ask permission, ask forgiveness. You never heard that? Oh, no. That's like what the little rebels say. I like that. Yeah, that's what bad kids say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always ask permission. I don't, yeah, the YouTube. Yeah. I always ask permission first. Me too. I'm yeah, scared. right. I'm scared of being a I'm kind of a scaredy cat as well. 